Welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Well, today through the weekend, you can get up close and personal with dinosaurs. That's right. There's an exhibit at the BJCC, an exhibit called Discover the Dinosaurs, and the crew travels all over the country to teach all of us about the prehistoric creatures. Take a look. We travel everywhere. We're trying to do around 30 shows. Probably going to do a little bit more, but uh, it's a huge success, so it's probably going to keep going. It's going to be a really inter interactive thing, real good photo opportunity. we got a lot of dinosaurs. The kid can actually touch buttons, and they can uh, interact with them. We have some dinosaurs that they can climb on. We've got tons of different act activities. Expect a lot of the uh, animated dinosaurs. I think that's one of our big things they got, just to see the dinosaurs move and make the sounds. We've also got tons of other activities. We've got inflatables. We've got a dino dig. We've got a dino den that kids can come in and they can play on. Uh, we've got coloring. We've got face painting. They can come get their face painted like a dinosaur. Uh, we've got a fossil guy here. Um, you can get a 3D photography. There's tons of stuff to do for kids. You're not going to run out. It's worth it for the money. Uh, we're constantly adding new pieces, so I sculpt a lot of smaller dinosaurs in the heads, and they can actually come and see me sculpt as well to see how they're actually made and most importantly see that they're not actually real. It's really good for kids. Uh, mostly the non-stat, the static ones, the ones that uh, the kids can climb on, that's kind of my specialty. That's mostly what I stick with. If you want to come and get an educational center, that's something we really try and to push as well. Is uh, Not only is it a really entertainment, it's educational. We have, uh, if you're really interested in the paleontology part of it, we've got a lot of signs and facts. We really try and keep it educational for the kids. A more popular space, definitely the animatronic dinosaurs. Um, I think for the smaller kids, um, we kind of have it split into two, two halves. Um, the other half's more kind of the fun activities. I think the inflatables, seem to be one of the most popular ones that we have. Another real popular things that we have um, for a couple of tickets, you can actually sit on the back of a dinosaur and you can ride a dinosaur when it's moving around and growling or whatever. It's a really one-of-a-kind awesome experience. We have a very large T-Rex. Um, it's, it's really big. We can only go so big we have to fit everything on a truck, but it's, it's plenty big enough. I think that's probably one of our most popular ones, probably the most uh, photographed just because you can actually look up and see the mouth open and the roar and everything. That's probably one of the more popular ones that we uh, we also have a lot of raptors. Raptors are really popular. We've got a good selection of raptors. We've got a selection in size from the smaller ones to the bigger ones. That seems to be a big draw on the raptors as well. It's the best photo opportunity you're ever going to come across in your life. You could do a whole photo album just off this one show. There's so many things to take pictures of. Uh, there's a lot of activities for kids, and we pump the educational part of it as well. And again, that is the BJCC today, tomorrow, and Sunday. But you cannot have the Jurassic experience without having the one and only Riley, the paleontologist, who's going to be there, but he's with us this morning. Welcome back, Riley. Hey. How are you? Great. You brought something with you today. What is this? Well, this is our sore femur, the lower leg bone. And um, this is just the lower leg bones, not all the leg bones. So uh, if uh, if I could have an example, it would be like two of these bones plus the body of a Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus is a sauropod, like Brachiosaurus. Well, and look at this. Riley, this is as big as you. It's about uh, three feet long or maybe three and a half feet long with just one of the leg bones. Well, and what about this? This is a Tyrannosaurus jawbone. And um, these teeth are a couple of the smaller teeth. Their teeth get to be about 13 to 14 inches long. That's some of the biggest teeth. This is a nose and then about one third the eye. That's pretty amazing. Riley, you've got your own little show I know online called Riley Talk. How did you get selected to go down to the BJC this weekend, the BJCC this weekend to teach and help uh, other kids? Well, um, whenever I was coming uh, from school one day, um, I heard that I was going to be uh, on the uh, on ABC 3340, and I was going to be going to the BJCC. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be doing it today, tomorrow.
tomorrow and the next day. And what are you going to be doing when you're down there? I'm going to be setting up my table, uh, selling t-shirts, and if anybody asks questions, I'm going to be answering those questions and talking about dinosaurs. Well, I remember you even stumped Ellen a little bit. You knew so much about dinosaurs when you were on uh, the talk show Ellen not, not too long ago. I was uh, on her show uh, three times. I was on one of her uh, favorite times show. Yeah. And um, I was on her uh, show twice. One time I was in Orlando because uh, on the first time, uh, so then I got a little gift basket. Oh, how nice. And um, whenever I was in Orlando, I got to uh, go on a ride with her, the Jurassic Park ride. That's pretty and, impressive, um, you know. And a, a shopping spree also. <laughs> Did you buy something dinosaur related? I bought uh, a couple of uh, these little puppets and um, some toys, too. And some toys. Yeah, these are they're pretty uh, uh, big toys, Riley. Your show online is RileyTalk.com. RileyTalk.com has videos, pictures, and um, anything that has to do with dinosaurs that I know about, it should be on the website. I've got Dinosaur of the Week, which is like weird dinosaurs that most people not, might not know about. Yeah. They're on my, my website. Now, the last time I interviewed you was a couple of years ago, and you said this is what you want to do when you grow up. You want to work with dinosaurs. Are you still thinking about that? I'm still thinking about uh, going to school for a uh, paleontology and I'm still studying dinosaurs. Yeah? I found out about a dinosaur that, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's a dinosaur or a bird because it looks about the same. It's it's, it's called Shinzauraptors, like a, hmm. a velociraptor, but it has wings and um, circular tail feathers. So you're working on that now to figure it out. And um, it also has a tuck claw like a raptor. <laughs> It's so impressive that you know so much about dinosaurs, Riley. Now, you are from here. You live in Lincoln, Alabama, not too far up the road. And I sure bet your parents are proud. We are, too, Riley. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. And we'll see you this weekend at the BJCC. Do you know what times you're going to be there? Um, I'm going to be there all day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have a busy weekend planned. And, um, we... I'm going to be sitting up on uh, talking about dinosaurs, and that's about all. Well, if you want to catch Riley the paleontologist, you need to head to the BJCC. He'll be there, as he said, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you can learn maybe just a little bit about what he knows about these creatures. Thank you so much for your time, Riley. You're welcome. We've got to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Do you need new furniture, but money's low?